Harmon. I'm the city's communication and events manager, and I'm happy to report that we have Steve and Cindy Wilkinson here today to talk about the fourth annual Cathedral City Hot Air Balloon Festival that's coming up on November 17th through the 19th here in Cathedral City. So Steve, this year, fourth annual Hot Air Balloon Festival, how many balloons are expected to come? Well, we have 35 balloons coming. Uh, we have balloons from all over the United States, uh, Texas, uh, Utah, Oregon, Colorado. Uh, we have the um, number one pilot in the world is coming from Texas. Uh, our number one uh, world champion and uh, national champion is, is coming. So we have a, a big variety of, the, of pilots coming this year. How about any special shape balloons? I know when I go to different festivals and stuff, you get to see different shapes. Do we have any special shape balloons that are coming? We do, um, and some of the you know favorites uh, is the, the bananas. Uh, it's a big banana shape with uh, some monkeys hanging off it, and we've got uh, some characters on the ground that'll be taking pictures with the kids and, and some cards for the kids. Uh, we have a, a lemon balloon. We have a big Liberty Bell. So uh, yeah, we have some pretty cool special shapes coming this year. So you're the owners of Fantasy Balloon Flights, and they've been a mainstay in the Coachella Valley for many years. Tell us a little bit about the company and then your experience as a pilot. Well, we started Fantasy Balloon Flights uh, as really a fantasy. Uh, we started with a, a small balloon that held two people, so we did romantic balloon flights for two, because that's what we could carry. <laughs> and, um, and we just uh, grew from there. Uh, got real popular in the Coachella Valley here, out of the Palm Desert uh, Indian Wells area. And uh, we've been here, we started uh, Fantasy Balloons, my wife and I, uh, 1981. So, oh, wow. And, uh, but we, we do travel the world uh, doing balloon events, uh, some that we put on and then just some that we go to. So Western Mission Hills Golf Resort and Spa is the title sponsor again, and this will be their third year in a row that they're the main title sponsor for the Cathedral City Hot Air Balloon Festival. So we really appreciate our friends in Rancho Mirage. Yes. So tell us a bit about some of the activities that if you're staying at the hotel, there at the resort, what activities would you see at the resort? Well, the first one's gonna be Friday evening. It's, uh, it's a glow, and it's gonna be right on the green. We're, it's fantastic. You can have dinner. Uh, it's to music, so it's a, a wonderful evening uh, at the Westin. Now, how do how does one get tickets for that? You can go to our website. Um, we'll have it on the screen, and um, you can get the tickets right through us or through the Westin. Okay, perfect. So that's Friday night. A dinner, a balloon glow, right there on the 18th hole of the Peak Die golf course there at the Weston Mission Hills uh, Golf Resort and Spa. Tell us about Saturday. Saturday morning's uh, very exciting. That is the official balloon event. Uh, we'll have the number one balloonist in the world there, but a lot of other competitors that definitely want to beat him. Uh, we'll have 35 balloons launching there, which is fantastic, launching right into the blue sky, uh, right off the, the golf course. It's wonderful. And then we'll have tethered balloons also there if you want to take a tethered ride. Or if you'd like to be in the race, we'll have uh, spots available to fly in the balloon race. Uh, you can also get it through our website so or our phone number. So you're saying as a resident in the Coachella Valley or beyond, if I want to be part of the balloon race in the basket with the pilots, I can go to the website or call and get a chance to be in the balloon race with those pilots. You sure may. Wow, that's amazing. It's fantastic. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity to do it. Uh, I would suggest anyone that, that wants to take great pictures and have a great time, call us. So if you're a little bit scared and maybe you still want that bucket list of being in a hot air balloon and you're a little bit scared of flying across, there's also the tethered rides. So tell people a little bit about the tethered rides. The tethered rides are about 100 feet, and so you're going to be above everything. You'll still get the photos. You'll still get the photo of you being in the balloon, and you still get the ride. You're just not going to get real high. Um, but all the other balloons that are going to be there, these are the top pilots in the country. So these are excellent pilots. They're 
they're gonna do a great job and you're gonna have a great time. So for those that want the excitement of being in a balloon race, you can sign up and ride along there. Or if you're a little bit apprehensive about being in a hot air balloon and you just kind of want to test it out the first time, tethered balloon rides are the perfect choice for that. It's fantastic. And what's it feel like going in a hot air balloon? Is it like being in an elevator? Is it like being on a roller coaster? What's the, what's the feel? Well, if you got in the basket and covered your eyes, you couldn't tell me when I launched the balloon. You can't feel up, down, forward, or back. You just get to see it all. So it's like being like you're floating in midair, like in a cloud. Exactly. So now joining us is Cindy Wilkinson, the other half, some may say better, the other half of uh, Fantasy Balloon Flights that are the operators and managers of the fourth annual Cathedral City Hot Air Balloon Festival. Welcome, Cindy. Thank you. So, Steve told us a little bit about some of the activities that are happening. What's some new activities that are coming to the Hot Air Balloon Festival this year? Well, we've added fireworks as our finale for Saturday night after the Balloon Glow. In downtown Cathedral City. Downtown Cathedral City, where we'll have the Balloon Glow with 35 balloons and music and food and kid zone, all of that stuff. And um, during the afternoon, we've added some activities. We're going to have a kite display and kite making. So when you say kite display, are you talking like me out with a little three by five kite? No, or what are we talking no, here? No, these are the professionals in Southern California and they bring out uh, exotic and very large kites. They do uh, different things like kite kind of fighting. And, and then they will help the children make their own and decorate their own kites. So also. on Saturday, parents and what children are gonna to wanna to know this? On Saturday, we have a new activity. It's called the Banana Balloon Candy Drop. Cindy, what's that about and how does it work? Well, it's free to the public, so bring all your children out and we'll have over 10,000 pieces of candy that will be spread out throughout the festival lawn and the gigantic seven story high bananas balloon will go up when it lands that'll be the cue for all the kids to come and gather their candy so it's kind of like a big pinata in the sky exactly and the candy's on the ground the kids can run in and get a bunch of candy and have a great time uh, doing so yes so speaking of kids what other activities are happening for kids I hear there's a kid zone the kid zone theme will be princesses and princes and we'll have volunteers there dressed in costume that will help the kids go in the bouncy houses and make kites and other crafts and activities. At daytime activities, we have tethered rides downtown Cathedral City from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Yes. Then the banana balloon candy drop for the kids, remember parents, at 11 a.m., free of charge, come on down and snatch up 10,000 pieces of candy that they're gonna give away. Thanks to La Micho Okana Candy Parlor and Ice Cream Shop right next door as well. And then we have the kite show coming. We'll also have food and beer and wine vendors in the, um, the beer gardens and music. We'll have uh, local bands. We have some really good local bands. Now, what time does that start? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And that's a, and you're going to have a main stage, is that correct? We do. We have a main stage and we'll have um, music before and after the balloon glow. So let's talk about that because that's a very important thing. The most popular portion for our first three years for sure was the 6 p.m. Saturday night balloon glow to music 45 minute show, 6 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. Downtown Cathedral City. Tell us a little bit, how, like if you haven't been to it, what do you see, what is it? It's, it's just amazing. There'll be hot air, seven story hot air balloons throughout the whole downtown area. And uh, once the, the sky goes dark and the pilots use the engine on the hot air balloons, they light up like giant light bulbs. And it's just so much fun for the children. You get the best photos. And, um, and then we set this to music. So we'll have um, modern music playing. And sometimes the balloons just kind of light up along with the music. And, and I've always noticed that when I'm at the Balloon Glow, 
everyone there is taking selfies and taking pictures of all the balloons going off. I mean, it stops traffic on Highway 111 because it's That's the most beautiful thing. And I really think, it, you know, we used to have the balloon glow on Valentine's Day because the balloon glow is one of the most romantic um, things that you can experience. And this year I hear you're going to be able to do the balloon glow and drink some wine, is that right? Yes, the whole area where the balloons will be inflated is a beer and wine garden this year. So you will be able to get snacks and beverages and then just walk around amongst the balloons and have a wonderful time. So bring your significant other, have a little bit of wine, enjoy the romantic balloon glow in downtown Cathedral City from 6 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. And then what happens after you had some wine, you've had this beautiful romantic balloon glow, then what happens after that? Then we'll have a little bit more music and then the finale for Saturday night is the fireworks show. Now listen, before we talk about the fireworks show, because I know that's, a, that's fun and important, the music, now I've heard that many of the bands that are coming also had played at Coachella Fest in previous years. So do we have uh, some names of the bands that are coming? Yeah, we have fabulous bands. Uh, the Flusters are coming. They played Coachella. Uh, the Yip Yaps. Um, is I've heard of them. And in fact, I think they were at uh, the Balloon Fest once before and, and everybody loved them. Yes. Yeah, yeah we have wonderful local bands. And um, like I say, they've, they have played at Coachella and they'll be doing 45 minute sets. So. One other option that you can have while you're at the balloon glow, the 45 minute balloon glow that night, is the VIP viewing lounge. And this is a viewing lounge like no other balloon festival offers throughout the United States because of where it's located. And where it's located is right next to the Cathedral City parking structure on the third floor Every day, it's a beautiful view up there because you can see the entire Coachella Valley. But on the balloon glow, it makes it extra special because it offers a panoramic view because we have two sites because there's so many balloons that come down. 35 balloons take up a lot of space. And because we have so many balloons that come down for it, we have to have balloons up on the festival lawn and then balloons where the new amphitheater park is going to be built, we have the balloons there. So if you're on the ground, you can only be at one or the other at one given time, but up on the VIP viewing lounge, you have a panoramic view of both. So besides the panoramic view, what else is happening? What do you get? What are the ticket prices? What do you get for being on the VIP viewing lounge? Yeah, it's up on the top floor of the parking structure. So you'll get a view looking down on both of the balloon festival sites. And uh, for a $10 admission price, you get uh, one glass of champagne or wine. You can purchase others while you're up there. There'll be food up there and their own music. So we'll have a DJ and bands up there also. And you can come up and down. If you want to be down amongst the balloons, you can go down or you can um, also be up on top. So that's important. So you can stay at the top, see the panoramic view, but if you wanna go down on the fields and be among, plus you have plenty of time, 45 minutes is a long time to be able to see these balloons and really capture the essence of the event. You can go downstairs, be among the balloons, or come back up and be among the VIPs. Steve had talked exactly. about how you can be part of the balloon race or any of the morning launches that they have. Because we have, we have morning launches on Friday from Big League Dreams. We have one on Saturday from the Westin and soon to be announced on Sunday, the location there. So stay tuned for that. Um, but you can ride all three different days or you can ride all three days. Um, to do that, you book in advance by going to the website or calling the number listed on the screen. But what happens if I book on Saturday and it's raining? What happens? Well, the, the balloons have to have pretty fair weather to operate. So if you do schedule a flight for Saturday morning and it's raining or it's too windy, the pilots will cancel the flight. You could then um, get your money back or reschedule to the next morning. 
Okay, so you have a choice. Yes. So if you book in advance, you have a choice. You can either cancel, get your money back, or if it's Friday that you're booked and the winds are in the wrong direction, mm -hmm. um, then you can maybe book on a Saturday or Sunday. Yes. Oh, let's talk about the firework finale. So this is going, this is brand new for the yes. Hot Air Balloon Festival. And this is happening where, what time, and is it free? Yes, it's, uh, it's free. Um, as are most of the uh, activities with the festival, free to the public. And it'll take place, you'll want to be in the festival lawn where the balloon glow is or on the VIP on top of the roof. And um, it'll be just uh, south of the festival. Uh, so you'll be looking at the mountains and it, it should be spectacular. Okay, so m most of the activities for the balloon festival are free to get into. But, you know, if you go to any of the other festivals in the Coachella Valley, even if it's free, they always get you on parking. So is there a parking charge? No, the, um, the Cathedral City Council has made the parking free as well as um, admission to the event free to the public. And we're inviting the whole valley out to come and enjoy the event. There are some uh, events that have a small charge, like the um, we're doing a pancake breakfast with balloons on Friday morning out of Big League Dreams, and there's a $10 charge for that. Uh, but most of the activities are free to the public. So the $10 charge at Big League Dreams for the breakfast and balloon race, what, how does that work? What, do you, what happens? What do I get for $10? Well, you get a pancake breakfast with a beverage, coffee, and juice. And I believe it's pancakes and sausage. And then you get to enjoy the balloons from uh, the beautiful Big League Dreams Park. So you get to watch the balloons inflate on the three ball fields there at Big League Dreams. And then um, if you want to, you can sign up to ride in the balloons and they'll launch from the Big League Dreams Sports Park and then start flying across the Coachella Valley. Now again, if you're uh, you know not quite ready for the flight across the valley, are they going to have tethered balloon rides there? They will. We'll have tethered balloon rides at Big League Dreams Friday morning, as well as downtown Cathedral City and the Westin on Saturday morning. So let's say I have some family members that are coming in from out of town. I don't want them to stay at my home. How, <laughs> how can they go about getting a hotel room? Is Westin, who's the title sponsor, are they providing a, a hotel rooms and at a discounted rate? Yes, they are. Uh, the Weston will be housing all of the balloon pilots as well as um, visitors to the event and they are providing a, a discounted rate for the, uh, the stay at the Weston during that weekend as well as uh, for the dinner if you want to go to the Balloon Glow dinner. So the Weston really is the best place to stay because you're staying among the pilots and crew, so if you're at the pool, you can hang out with the pilots and crew while they're hanging out at the pool in their downtime. Uh, you have the balloon glow dinner Friday night, and then Saturday you have the morning balloon launch and tethered balloon rides down at the Westin as well. So that's the, really the place to stay. So hurry before the rooms sell out, because they will. Um, make sure you get your room at the Weston, um, who's been a fantastic sponsor of ours for the last three years. We really appreciate the Weston being a part of that. And you'll see on the screen below um, how you can go about getting the rooms for that. So if I have more questions about the festival, where do I go to get more information? You can get a lot of information just by going to the website. And if you have additional questions, um, you can give us a call. And what's that website for everybody? It's hotairballoonfest.com. Hotairballoonfest.com. Yes. Well, that's simple. It is. Go into a hot air balloon, and it's a festival. Hotairballoonfest.com. Again, I'm Chris Parman. I'm the city's communications and events manager. It was my pleasure to have Cindy Wilkinson and Steve Wilkinson from Fantasy Balloon Flights here here on CCTV to talk to you about the fourth annual Cathedral City Hot Air Balloon Festival. Come see us.